Hey boys and girls, welcome back to reading. In today's lesson, we're going to go back and reread Apple Pie 4th of July. Before we do, we will be talking about those power words that'll help us understand our story a little bit better. Then, as we're reading, we're going to use our five senses so we can feel like we are right there in the story. Let's get started with the power words. Our first word is American. Say it with me, American. Something or someone that is American has to do with the United States or its people. For example, the Statue of Liberty is an American symbol. Our next word is crowd. Say it with me, crowd. A crowd is a group of people. For example, there is a large crowd of people watching this baseball game. Our last power word is customer. Say it with me, customer. A customer is someone who buys things. This customer is buying food at the store. Wow, understanding those power words really does help us understand this book that much better. Now that we talked about the power words, let's talk about our purpose for reading. In today's lesson, you're going to be using your five senses to help visualize the text. When you're reading or listening to a text, you can visualize what's happening in your mind. That way, as you're reading, it's almost like watching a movie. Look at the girl in our picture. She's reading a book, but she's picturing different parts of the story. How it feels, how it tastes, how it smells, how it looks, and how it sounds. Let's go back and read our story. And as we read, we'll stop and think about those same things. Let's go. Seven days a week, 52 weeks, 364 days a year. On 365 in a leap year, our store is open. Christmas is the only day we close. Even on Thanksgiving, we open the store. Even on New Year's Day, even today, the 4th of July. I hear the parade coming this way. Boom, boom, boom. I smell apple pie in Laura's oven upstairs and... Close your eyes. What do you picture? Try using all of your senses. I hear a parade. People yelling, a band, music. I smell warm apple pie. Chow mein in our kitchen. Chow mein, Chinese food on the 4th of July? Nobody wants Chinese food on the 4th of July, I say. Fireworks are Chinese, father says, and hands me a pan full of sweet and sour pork. Hmm. Why does the girl's father say fireworks are Chinese? I think he wants her to know that there are parts of the 4th of July that are already Chinese. I hear the parade, boom, boom, boom. I hear the parade passing by. Noon and customers come for soda and potato chips. One o'clock, they buy ice cream. Two o'clock, the egg rolls are getting hard. Three o'clock, ice and matches. Four o'clock, the noodles feel like shoelaces. No one wants Chinese food on the 4th of July, I say. Mother piles noodles on my plate. My parents do not understand all American things. They were not born here. Even though my father has lived here since he was 12, even though my mother loves apple pie, I cannot expect them to know that Americans do not eat Chinese food on the 4th of July. The girl says her parents were not born here. What does that mean? You're right, it means they were born in another country. Then they moved to America. Do you think that the girl was born in America? You're right, she was. How can you tell? You're right, the text says her parents lived in America since they were children. So I straighten the milk in the videos and sample a few new candy bars until five o'clock when two hungry customers walk inside for some Chinese food to go. I tell them, no one, no one came. So we ate it up ourselves, but they smell food in the kitchen now. And mother walks through the swinging door holding a tray of chicken chow mein. And father follows her step for step with a brand new pan of sweet and sour pork. And three more people get in line. 11 more at six o'clock, nine at seven, 12 by eight. Hmm, how do you think the girl is feeling now? I agree, she looks pretty happy. 
why do you think she's feeling happy now? I agree. I bet she's pretty glad that people are buying Chinese food on the 4th of July. More and more and more and more. Until it's time to close the store. Time to climb to our rooftop chairs way up high beyond the crowd. Where we sit and watch the fireworks show. Close your eyes. What are you picturing? Try using all of your senses. I know I'm picturing the fireworks bright, colorful, and very loud. And eat our apple pie. Why do you think the author is showing the girl and her family eating apple pie at the end? I think it shows her family celebrates both with Chinese food and apple pie. Wow, using my five senses as I read really made me feel like I was right there in the story. How did you feel? Great! I hope you enjoyed this story, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, friends!